Friday the 13th. One wonders where the taint on Friday the 13th came from. Could it have come from a day in October in the year 1307 in France when a king and a pope conspired to bring down the Templars? A Black Friday indeed for them. Seems Philip No. 4 wanted to welch on a debt owed the Templars for funding military campaigns, parties, and a lavish lifestyle. He conspired with an archbishop turned pope to rope in all the Templars in their reach, along with their wealth, their properties, and each night to torture, to burn. However, they later to learn of a fortunate fifty-one who fled on eighteen galleys of the order in order to secure their treasure. Cuntoto tesaro fratis juganes de per perado. Many of these a new king to choose. They cast their lot in Scotland with Robert the Bruce to restore their honor in a turn to do their warrior thing in the Battle of Bannockburn. I hope I read that smooth, but sometimes I wonder about my reading. I wait for my friend. I wait for my close friend to emerge from an operation on his clutch hand. He will not be able to ride his deep red motorcycle while he is on the mend. He says he will spend his off time in quest of a better job. I say he must seek one that he loves to do, for that is a path to joy. Oh boy, the opportunities we both had to find such joy in creative endeavor using skills we shared to bring us much more. Satisfaction and dignity being artisans, masters at our various media, making objects to last far into a cloudy future where we might be remembered. Ah, now I wait for my friend to come out of an operation, to be ready to heal, to be driven by me to lunch, to share conversation and a meal, then home to deal with separate realities. Hmm. Maybe interesting. Then my July 4 poems, which I may just do them separate. 